Abby Petito's last known sighting inside Wyoming Whole Foods with Brian Laundrie. Security camera video from the Whole Foods in Jackson, Wyoming, shows Gabby Petito and her suspected killer Brian Laundrie browsing the shelves on August 27, 2021 the last date she was seen alive. First on Fox, the parents of Gabby Petito added attorney Stephen Bertolino to a civil lawsuit against Brian Laundrie's parents on Tuesday alleging that it was insensitive, cold-hearted and outrageous for Bertolino to express the laundry family's hope that authorities would find Gabby's remains in September 2021. Joseph Petito and Nicole Schmidt, Gabby's parents, originally filed the lawsuit against Christopher and Roberta Laundry earlier this year, accusing the couple of knowing that their son murdered Gabby and being aware of the location of her remains, but refusing to speak. When they did choose to speak, it was through statements issued by Stephen Bertolino, including a statement on September 14, 2021 that it was the hope of the Laundrie family that the search for Miss Petito is successful and that Miss Petito is reunited with her family, Gabby's parents said in a statement on Tuesday. It is believed that at the time the September 14, 2021 statement was issued, the Laundries and Stephen Bertolino knew that Gabby Petito was deceased, and that under those circumstances, the statement was insensitive, cold-hearted and outrageous. A press conference is held by Gabby Petito's family in Salt Lake City, Utah, Thursday, November 3, 2022. The family is filing a wrongful death suit against Moab Police Department. Seated, left to right are Tara and Joseph Petito. A press conference is held by Gabby Petito's family in Salt Lake City, Utah, Thursday, November 3, 2022. The family is filing a wrongful death suit against Moab Police Department. Seated, left to right are Tara and Joseph Petito. Fox News Digital. A press conference is held by Gabby Petito's family in Salt Lake City, Utah, Thursday, November 3, 2022. The family is filing a wrongful death suit against Moab Police Department. Seated, left to right are Jim and Nicole Schmidt. A press conference is held by Gabby Petito's family in Salt Lake City, Utah, Thursday, November 3, 2022. The family is filing a wrongful death suit against Moab Police Department. Seated, left to right are Jim and Nicole Schmidt. Fox News Digital Gabby and Brian were on a cross-country road trip in the summer of 2021 when she disappeared in late August. Brian returned to his family's home in Northport, Florida, on September 1, and Gabby's parents reported her missing on September 11. Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie, bombshell video emerges showing hours before murder. The lawsuit focuses on the statement that Bertolino released on the Laundries's behalf on September 14 as searches were taking place for Gabby. It also accuses the Laundries of going on a camping trip in early September despite knowing that Brian killed Gabby and being aware of the location of her remains. Brian Laundrie and Gabby Peccio pictured in Moab police body cam during an August 12, 2021 domestic violence stop that led to her family's wrongful death lawsuit against Moab. Brian Laundrie and Gabby Peccio pictured in Moab police body cam during an August 12, 2021 domestic violence stop that led to her family's wrongful death lawsuit against Moab. Moab Police Department Gabby's body found on September 19 and a medical examiner ruled that her death was a homicide by manual strangulation and blunt force trauma to the head and neck. Brian left his family's Northport home on September 13 and went to the Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park, where his remains were found on October 20, 2021. He died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Gabby Petito Homicide, Timeline of Disappearance with Brian Laundrie a note that was recovered near his body contained a confession. I ended her life, reads the note. I thought it was merciful, that it is what she wanted, but I see now all the mistakes I made. I panicked. I was in shock. Fox News Digital offered the first public glimpse of a confession Brian Laundrie left in a notebook in the Florida swamp where he killed himself last year. Fox News Digital offered the first public glimpse of a confession Brian Laundrie left in a notebook in the Florida swamp where he killed himself last year. Michael Ruiz Fox News Digital 
Gabby Petito's family is suing the parents of Brian Laundrie and their lawyer, Stephen Bertolino. Gabby Petito's family is suing the parents of Brian Laundrie and their lawyer, Stephen Bertolino. Steve Petito Bertolino did not immediately respond to a request for comment on Tuesday. The families of Gabby and Brian agreed to a $3 million settlement last month in the Petito family's wrongful death lawsuit against Brian's estate. Gabby's family has also filed a $50 million wrongful death lawsuit against the Moab Police Department, alleging that officers failed to properly handle a 911 call after a witness claimed he saw Brian hitting Gabby and trying to steal her phone just weeks before her death. The lawsuit names the department, two officers who responded to the call, and two former leaders.